know it's not exactly the same situation, but a month ago you guys were down 0-2 to the Nets coming back home. D does it help at all that you've been kind of through this before in these playoffs and come out the other side of it in advance? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think during the regular season you do things that, you know, you reference, you build habits, um, you know, things that you can lean on. So, um, you know, your playoff experiences, your playoff journey, um, I think we're all human. Um, you know, it, 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 at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything, but, you know, it's, you know, we're always trying to learn and grow. And, um, you know, you just have those reference points, and um, we know we got to play well um, going into tomorrow night's game three. Jim on the right. Hey, Mike. Um, I just did Giannis make it through, you know, the post game and the day, days off healthy? I know he had kind of the, some bumps and bruises last game. Yeah, no, he's in a good place, yes. Um, were you able to, as you kind of look at these last two games, um, you know, you mentioned, obviously it starts defense first, but offensively, do um, you think there were moments of falling kind of back into some of the isolation or the one-on-one -on -one type stuff that maybe you saw in some of the other series at times where the ball kind of stopped and stopped moving? And if so, is, is that an emphasis going forward a little bit? Yeah, you know, I, I think our ball movement can be a little bit better, you know, getting to second actions and, and multiple actions and plays and moving people. So, um, you know, it's 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 um, something that's good. You know, you play against a good defensive team. Um, you know, I think we need a little bit of that. Jeff, over here on the left. Mike, you've mentioned uh, John Horst's name a couple times over the last uh, two series, and I, I wanted to know about your working relationship with him a little bit and maybe the atmosphere that he's created uh, to allow you guys to put the team together as it is. Yeah, I mean, he's the most incredible partner. It's, it's uh, can't imagine a better, you know, GM that, you know, probably, I guess, most importantly, does an amazing job at, at his job of, you know, putting together the team whether it's making trades, drafting, um, free agency. Um, he's just incredible at what he does. Um, and then, you know, his openness and willingness to have conversation, to be inclusive. Um, you know, his staff, uh, the coaching staff, the players, his relationship with our players, his relationship with our owners. Um, you know, it's, it's like the GM is a job that I don't think everybody understands all the things that come underneath that hat. I think he does them all at an incredibly high level, and um, I just beyond appreciative of, you know, being a, a part of of what he's put together. Dwayne here in the front. Yeah, coach. Who does Booker and Paul remind you of that you've played against this season? Booker and Paul. <laughs> I, you know, I no, I know, I know. I'm being a jerk. Um, I, uh, it's. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I I'm probably not great at this, you know, kind of trying to compare and stuff. And they're they're unique. And and you know, Chris Paul's been around a long time, so you've kind of you know seen and experienced him at different levels, including playoff series and th things like that. And um, Booker's relatively young, but you know he's put his stamp on our league at a, at a very young age. And um, you know, they're just, they're, they're very good players. I'm having a hard enough time trying to figure out how to guard those two. I can't, can't come up with a good comparison for you. Yeah. Vince in the back. Hey coach, uh, along the lines with Chris Paul, you can't take away everything that he's good at that you, that he wants to do, but what are the things that you're willing to concede? Is it the contested jump shots? Is it if he scores 30, but you know, the ball sticks, are you willing, are there things that you're just willing to concede from an offensive standpoint with him? Yeah. I mean, I don't think any coach is going to say, you know, concede, but I, I think, you know, it is, it's at the same breath, every coach is probably going to say it's hard to take everything away. Um, you know, so I think if he's having to take tough shots, if, if we're, uh, making the shots that he's creating for his teammates difficult. You know, that's kind of the mindset is just, can we make everything hard on, on Chris Paul? Can we make hard thing, everything hard on them? Um, and there's been stretches when we've done that well, and there's been stretches where we need to be a lot better. Um, but, you know, I think just hopefully trying to make it hard on him, make him um, uncomfortable, which is, you know, um, easier said than done. Lisa on the right. Hi, Coach, uh, what's the first thing you want you get, uh, your team to get much better at Game 3? What's the first thing <laughs> on your mind? Uh, no, I, I think, you know, we just got to play 
Um, I, I just want the guys to come and play. Um, we feel like we can play better on both ends of the court. I want them to be free. I want them to compete and play. Um, it's it's not one thing that's going to, you know, it's it's basketball is, is a lot of individual moments, things happening on both ends of the court. You got to win some of those battles, some of those 50-50 balls. You got to be good in transition defense, keeping them off the free throw line, um, getting back and contesting shooters. It's there's so many things that go into winning, playing, um, you know, fast and all those things. So I just want our guys to come and play. Um, that's that's the most important thing for us. Uh, Chris, any questions on Zoom? Let's go to David. Hey, Coach. Um, can I talk about Drew Holiday and the impact he has on your team, especially on defense? Yeah, no, I think, you know, having him, you know, at, at kind of the, the, the front of our defense, um, you know, I think his ability to impact the ball and be disruptive um, is very unique there and and still keep it in front and have the size and athleticism to do some switching. And um, you know, he's he's a very, very good defender. Um, we need we need every bit of that, um, you know, against both Paul and Booker in this series. And um, when he switches on to other guys and, um, but he's very, very unique. Um, and I think he's a big part of, um, when we're good defensively, it starts with Drew. Ars. Hello coach. I just wanted to ask if you feel that you have some adjustments to make offensively, or if you think that it's just a matter of time for the shots to finally start dropping in. Um, no, I mean, you know, I think there's things that we can, you know, hopefully tweak a little bit. Um, I, I think there were some things that improved in the second game. Um, you know, we got to keep working to get better. Um, and, you know, you, when you get good looks, good opportunities, um, you, you know, it's, it's going to be helpful if we convert. Um, and then sometimes you got to make some tough shots in the playoffs, too. Um, you need a, a little bit of both. Um, but, you know, I think we can get better. We can get, um, you know, keep improving. Um, offensively going into the third game. Steve, last question over here on the right. Mike, um, what you talked about with Drew Holiday just, just there, as far as how much you guys are re relying on him defensively, do you have to accept or concede that it's going to put a limitation on what he can do offensively, just if only from an energy standpoint? Yeah, no, I mean, I think there is, a, you know, a great challenge for Drew. Um, you know, the the amount of effort that it, it it takes and that we're, you know, um, you know, putting that on his shoulders defensively is significant. Um, but it's, it's the playoffs. Um, it's the finals. You know, I think everybody's got to be able to do it at a high level on both ends of the court. Um, but certainly appreciate and respect um, what Drew's got to do defensively and um, do it on big minutes. Um, but, I, you know, we feel like he can do both. He, he can deliver on a big way on defense and, and still deliver on a big way on offense, too.